this is Apalachicola Bay. It's where the Apalachicola River empties into the Gulf of Mexico. It's a pretty big bay. Now, Apalachicola has had to remake itself several times in its history, and it's got a long history going back to, I don't know, maybe the 1700s, but definitely the 1820s, 1830s. And it used to be an area where people made their living sponging. And then it was with the cotton trade. Mm -hmm. And um, I think, and um, there was a port here, a big port. This used to be a major port town. Pines, too. I think they were known for the yellow pines in this area way back then, too. Yeah. So. And then after that, it um, kind of remade itself into the oysters. And this space still produces a lot of oysters, but nowhere near what it did 20, 30 years ago. And I think a lot of people think it's mostly due to too much of the fresh water being used upstream. So they've had to remake themselves again from that. And they're turning into, I wouldn't say it's a tourist trap, but it's definitely very tourist oriented and fishing oriented. You can come over here and look at this. This is the kind of things you'll see when you come here. Just, it's so different than Destin, where we were at last week. Just get a really authentic feel, a lot slower pace, fewer tourists. Look at the pelicans, they're so cute. Yeah. Here the pelicans are. Kind of chilling through the heat of the day. It is hot today. Getting ready to go fishing later. Most of the fishing boats have moved to another marina on the outskirts of town. We'll show you that. I think right now what we're going to do is look for a place to eat. Yeah. And we'll show you what we pick. Now, things can be pricey here. It's not a cheap place to go. Not like it used to be. And they've really done a good job on beautifying the city. It is just absolutely pretty little town now. And for those of us who grew up around here, <laughs> we remember when Apalachicola used to be a little rough uh, back in the oystering days. And they still have oystering, but nowhere near what it once was. Okay, you ready to walk around? Yeah. Okay, which way you want to go? Want to go up this way? Okay. I know, it is very hot. It's in the 90s right now, it's sweltering, and this is the heat of the day. And things slow down. In the mornings it's busy, and in the afternoons and sunset, this place will be bustling. But right now, everyone is either at the beach, or at their hotel room pool, or somewhere. That's pretty cool. They're somewhere out of, out of this scorching heat, but the weekend nomads aren't hardly. Nope. Bringing you quality entertainment. Let's see. This way? Yeah. Or on up one more block? Let's go to the main. Go up one more? Yeah. Okay. I hope some of the restaurants are open. Yeah, they are. I saw people going around. Okay. I'm not sure how much the wind, there's a little bit of breeze, thank God. Oh, <laughs> but it's probably going to mess up our sound quality, so excuse us. Let's see. Uh oh. What happened here? Uh. One can only guess. seafood grills this is the main street we're about to turn on to you still having wardrobe malfunctions it's just hot I see they come in here out of the heat for a second hey hey 
<laughs> you can still find remnants of even the old sponging days here. Like little things like this. And sometimes you'll see pictures of the sponges and the sponging industry. Like here. Now that was what you call a loofa. $115 loofa. Pretty cool. There are little shops like this all over Apalachicola too. We just turned into the first one we just walked by. You ready to mosey? You see the spiders? Yeah. Oh, here's some caps. Okay, see you at the next stop. That place down there is where they had all this cool, like the bicycle up the street. That place over there? Yeah. Remember we came oh yeah, we'll walk over there, show everybody that. Man, is it slow now. <laughs> we came through a little while ago on our way to St. George Island, and there were people everywhere. Wow, they're probably all at the beach. It was in the morning. the air conditioner somewhere. It is sweltering right now. I'm telling you, makes me want to find a place. and uh, Get some ice cold sweet tea. My dad used to have a contracting business this was back in the 70s and he got the contract to do the renovation and wiring on the rainy house museum across the street and my first memories of Apalachicola was helping him rewire that house just a little interesting side note well, what do you want to do that is. yeah Okay. Um, I think it's a. Uh, I'm not sure what that place is. Yeah, this is a cool building here. Rusty tin. Look at this. Look at the special. Oh my goodness. This is like what we have only, yeah. only a, only a healthy one. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Julie and I really get into plants and nature, whether it's the mountains, ocean. We just seem to be drawn to those things. I want to take you over here and show you this place. I haven't actually figured out what this is, what business this it's is. A it's a bicycle shop, that's what it is. Bicycle repair. You need a bicycle tube? Hey, hey how are y'all? Cool little play. Okay. It's like a ghost town now, isn't it? Yeah. Probably know why. Yeah. It is miserably hot right now. I know. We're going to keep looking for a place to get something to eat. We can go to that place over there that's on the water. Okay. Maybe we can get a table with a view. All right. Let's give that a try.
it's really hard to want to draw tourists but somehow keep what makes you authentic and real and so far I think Apalachicola is accomplishing that we were in Santa Fe what a couple of weeks ago no, is it a month ago yeah. yeah about a month ago in Santa Fe New Mexico and it's pretty but it was like a big giant tourist trap yeah and it didn't have I don't know how to describe it it just it didn't seem authentic yeah we didn't get a good vibe there um, yeah. it wasn't a relaxed place it was you like didn't feel welcome there. no it was like they were trying way too hard yeah. to put on the image of authenticity and, and the image of of being genuine but it wasn't was it yeah art galleries hello this seems to be like everything Santa Fe is trying to be yeah obviously you know a different a different climate cool building in the and this right here this is a cool little building too. yeah Rustic. I bet this whole different atmosphere at night, huh? Probably. Okay, I think the restaurant we're going to is on up here. So I'll tell you what, we'll come back when we get down there. Okay? Yeah. Oh, forget I have Oscar in my hand here. That's what we named our, named our GoPro. His He's a little buddy. We keep up with Oscar. We talk to Oscar, and uh, he goes everywhere with us now. You can rent these houseboats, which I think is just cool as heck. I have no idea how much they would cost. I think that's the name of each houseboat, isn't it? Yeah. Southern Comfort Rebels, Rest, General Lee, Tequila Sunrise. Here, we'll take one of these. We may come back and stay at one of these and do a vlog. Because well, I just. I'd want that one. Which one? General Lee. The General Lee? The very end right there. Or the General. Where's it at? Very blue. The blue oh, the blue one. one. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. Alrighty. Here's our restaurant right here. What is that? Chicken sandwich. Grilled. With a view. Best part. Can I get some mayo? Mayo, okay. Thank you. Thank you.
kind of dog is he? She's a bull mastiff. Oh Abigail. my goodness, she's so Abigail. pretty. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh no, you're fine. Oh, I just don't want her jumping goodness. all over you. How old so, is she? Just over a year. So how often does she take you for a walk? <laughs> all the time. <laughs> She is beautiful. Abigail, can you sit for me? Thank you. Look at that face. <laughs> Look at that cute face. Wasn't that what Cujo was? Cujo? Cujo Honey, was they, that was way before their time. <laughs> <laughs>